Mine's requested. I got both of my vehicles out here today to not only race, but let's really do a full comparison of the Helicord to the C43 AMG. And as you can see from both these cars being here, I didn't sell the Helicord. I don't know why so many people thought I strayed this car in for this. One thing both these vehicles have in common is from the outside, they're both sleepers. If you look at this, you may be a fool and think it's a C3 Hushes. If you look at this, you may be a fool and think it's just a normal Honda Accord. Now what's really under the hood of this is something that's gonna make you poop your panties. I'm not supposed to be showing this, so don't don't take any pictures. Okay, no pictures. I said no pictures, okay? Calm down, no pictures. <laughs> Now this is a custom engine cover, so undo all of this that just looks like a normal Han. This is like the ultimate sleeper build. You have never seen anything like this. On yours is 30 VTEC. It's a 30 Whipple to a Hellcat engine, 6.2 V8. It, it's just a little low to the ground. That's why the whole car is low to the ground, so you can't see the engine. But you already seen too much. Now over here, for a lot of people who claim it's not an AMG, see this right here? AMG. Oh. <laughs> Stock AMG. About you. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, what's this? By Tober Formatic? Okay, okay. AMG. And the quiet play. Like, come on. C43. AMG Performance Exhaust. Like, it's time to explore the insides of a real AMG. And then we'll explore the insides of the Hellcourt and compare the two interiors. First off, let me not even waste any of your time. The AMG wins an in interior. Like, it's a Mercedes. Suede on the fuck. Not suede. Where is this? Acre Terror. Whatever the fancy oh! term. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we got real, hold up. This didn't do shit. We got real carbon fiber on the dash. Maybe used to the hacky fake carbon fiber on the Hellcourt. This is legit carbon fiber from factory. Don't even get me started on these seats, but you see this? It means it's soft. Um, there's some leather mixed with soft something. We got some pretty interesting buttons in here too, like an exhaust button to open and close the valves, a button that should be removed from every single vehicle in existence. This is the R stop feature. It will like automatically turn off your engine when you stop your car. Parking camera, just a button to pull up the camera is pretty nice because this does have the 360 camera that I'll show you in a minute. Traction, a whole button for traction because this is a performance vehicle. Suspension, uh, manual mode, and then to switch through all drive modes. Your peers, I have lost all the audio for this clip and a following clip but luckily it's only these two so you did miss the interior of the hell cord but we got the rest of the video at jcmoshop.com whereby I have two rents with these vehicles. The first rent, 
no brake boost, just forwarding it. Second run, the AMG's gonna brake boost. The Helicord's not because the Shrani might not hold up after that. <laughs> I forgot to turn off traction, but now we're gonna see the AMG with launch control. And I'm gonna turn off traction this time on the Honda. I forgot to turn off traction again, but it doesn't matter. Clearly the AMG is way faster than the Helicord. In its current state, uh, if you don't already know the planes, I'm gonna be V8 swapping this very soon. Just give me some time of uh, something like that's gonna not just happen overnight and right this second. I'm waiting on a labor estimate from a shop and then after that, we can begin to move forward in the process. And I will be of course making videos as soon as I can about that. I wanna show you this launch control in more detail. So you'll be seeing a pure V of me launching it and you'll see from the outside. Oh my God! Ah! 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 Yo! Dude, she really pulls. She eats, man, holy, she eats. <laughs> she is an eater for sure. I'm still staying on business. Anyone who's ever claimed this is not a real AMG has never driven one because that launch, launch got me shaking a little bit. I was not suspecting all of that. <laughs> dude, like the, the feeling, like I got pulled back so hard. Like this has so much, dude, I should have had the torque pulled up. I'm such a, just a dumb fool. I should have had the torque pulled up on the screen because dude, there was an insane amount of torque right there. Like I can't even describe the feeling and just like, a roller coaster or a spaceship taking off it's insane gonna begin my reaction of being the passenger of the amg launch yo yo it pulls so hard like even before we took off like you can feel the whole car like lifting up yo yo it pulls so hard now, even though clearly the AMG is the superior vehicle at the moment in terms of performance, and I just got this car, and it is a very nice car, the Hellcourt's not gonna leap. I've been getting a lot of comments of people concerned that I'm just gonna, well, first, people thought I sold it for the AMG, and I was just gonna completely forget about the Hellcourt. But I'm not only gonna not forget about the Hellcourt, you're still gonna see Hellcourt videos as you're watching right now. This engine inside here is gonna be swapped out for an LS1. This is gonna be rear wheel drive with a six-speed manual and then we're gonna modify the ls1 just a little bit and then an actual hellcat engine or a demon 170 engine it just depends which one i want to go at first most likely at some point this may eventually have a demon 170 engine because if i'm going to be dropping all that bread in a hellcat engine and i already have like the ls1 swap done might as well get a demon 170 engine but let me hear from you in the comments. What engine do you want to see in the Hellcord? And what do you want to see done to the AMG? Because of course, I just got it, so it is stock. This is gap in the Hellcord stock. I'm sure you've been peeping the interior of this vehicle, eh? Probably itching for, I don't know, a pure V drive in the AMG. And luckily for you, I have delivered with the video on screen. So just click it to go watch it.